for most artists, whether, you know, when you get older, I mean, I've been surfing and painting for 45 and 50 years respectively. So it's, a lot has to do with childhood experiences. And for me, I fell in love with the beach real early, you know, hitching rides with my brother who was older, anybody you could get. Because I grew up in the San Fernando Valley. And then once I moved over here about 35 years ago, it's just, the goal was to be as close as possible to the beach. So obviously, the age, the, the environment, California, the whole deal plays in. Meshed with that, with all the art history that I've involved myself in, and you sort of come out on the other side, hopefully, with some sort of, you know, something to say for yourself. I get really influenced when I travel, and so when I travel, I go out and sort of soak up and a lot of time there's surfing adventures or surf travels, but sometimes it's cultural stuff, going to Europe or New York, or it can be Mexico or anywhere you want to go. And a lot of time it's about being outside and the light and the way that plays in. And then when I come back, I don't do a lot of note taking, but I do little drawings and little watercolors while I'm away. And they're sort of like starters. They don't become specific painters, paintings, but... Uh, it's about soaking up all that stuff and then bringing it back in and then everything that happens to you as you go on, things you read, it's, it's, it, you can't pinpoint it. I can't at least. But because my work isn't specific to a subject and a story and a narrative. Abstraction is more about just letting yourself go into that image and experience in that image. And you've got to be able to let go. It's like riding a wave. You've got to let go and just go with it. This painting sort of came out of an area where I go and surf in the morning and the light and the color and the architecture because it's down by the Santa Monica Pier and it's just a crummy little beach break. But there's a certain quality of light and a certain architectural elements with the Ferris wheel and all these things. So it's from this specific area that's kind of very urban but very open and airy at the same time. So that's kind of the capturing a little bit of that. I mean, you know, obviously the colors of this painting are pretty, you know, it's the shoreline. There's the sand, there's the water, there's the green, there's the grass. But it's also an abstraction which sort of comes out of my love of people like Richard Diebenkorn and other people like that. I mean, you know, they're painters who made their, you know, major parts of their career out of painting that specific area. And uh, so if anybody influenced, he did, and that area, because it's right down the street from where his studio used to be.